If you're watching this video, you most likely have had that familiar burning that you know is going to turn into something more, and you're wondering what you can do about it. In this video, we're going to dive into what is a urinary tract infection, what are the symptoms, and what you can do to both treat and prevent them. Also, make sure you stay tuned till the end of this video, where we will review a bonus tip on how you can save money with your health care. All this and more, coming up. Welcome to Family Med, your medical home for practical and accurate information to help your family make healthy decisions. I'm Dr. Eric Richardson, and today we're talking about the dreaded urinary tract infection. Ladies and gentlemen, we do live in a very inclusive society, but unfortunately, there are still some injustices in this world that make true gender equality an impossibility. Unfortunately, ladies, men have the leg up on this one, as it hits you at a much greater rate especially earlier on in life. Now don't fret too much because once men get a little more gray hairs, we start to catch up with you. But by and large, for the majority of viewers, this is affecting women a whole lot more. This is pretty much just a real estate problem. Location, location, location. In women, the opening of the urethra, well, where the pee comes out, is a lot shorter and closest to the anus, where the poop comes out. In women more than men. So it's just a lot easier for women to get them than men. So who is at risk for it? Besides women, of course, those people who've had previous urinary tract infections, those who are sexually active, and especially if they have a new partner, those who are going through menopause, pregnancy, the older we get, the less mobile we are, a history of urinary incontinence, or, or prostate enlargement. Now, if you find yourself in any of these categories, pay extra attention to our prevention side of the video in just a minute. So how do you know you have a UTI? Well, this tends to be fairly obvious for a lot of people. You get the pain or burning while urinating, frequent urination, you feel like you have to go when you just went, or you try to go and nothing comes out. You can get some low-grade fever sometimes, and you can see some cloudy or bloody urine. Oftentimes you can get some pressure or cramping in the lower abdomen or the groin area. These are the main symptoms of a typical UTI. Now, the ability to diagnose them are pretty good having the majority of these symptoms. Studies show that with these symptoms, you have at least a 60% chance of having a urinary tract infection. So, in reality, if you start having some of these symptoms and they're getting worse, it's a good idea to go seek care. These kind of symptoms are certainly one that your doctor's office or, or local urgent care would be able to you know, accommodate and be able to take care of. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of good options for home treatment of a true urinary tract infection. Since this is a bacterial infection, if you don't clear it on your own, it usually does need an antibiotic to treat. There are a lot of diff things that people are searching for out there, though, and advocating that may be helpful for you. Okay, let's talk about a few of them. We'll just mention them. This is one people say maybe cranberries, probiotics, wild oregano oil, vitamin C, baking soda, colloidal silver, apple cider vinegar. Now, out of all these things, unfortunately, we just don't have the evidence for the effectiveness of any of these things in their treatment. Now, is it harmful to try them? Well, likely not. And in the early stages of a urinary tract infection, it may not be a problem to try. But there certainly isn't evidence to be able to advocate for their use. Now, if you're just in the early stages where you have some frequency, maybe a little burning, then trying some of these home remedies may not be a, bad, a big issue. In fact, it's actually not uncommon for people pushing a lot of fluids in the initial stages of a urinary tract infection to be able to just clear it on their own. However, if it's left alone for too long, the infection can progress into the kidneys. And that can cause a kidney infection. We call that pyelonephritis. This is serious and actually can be deadly. Symptoms that would make you worry about this would be kind of flank or this lower back pain, high fever over 101 degrees, Nausea, vomiting, mental status changes, chills, night sweats. Now, these are the symptoms you should urgently be seeking care, if not at your doctor's office, a quick care, or even the emergency room. This certainly is not a time where you should be trying to treat these things on your own. Now, if you're trying these things on your own and your symptoms are not resolving after a few days when you have more mild symptoms, then you also need to really go see your doctor. Okay, so what is available over the counter that can help? Well, about the only thing that is known to be effective, at least in helping with the symptoms of a urinary tract infection that you can get over the counter, is a medication called phenazepiridine or peridium. 
This is given as a prescription, but it's also now over the counter. It kind of acts as a little anesthetic to help relieve the burning sensation. This can be effective in helping controlling the symptoms, but it's important to know that this does not treat the infection. It only stops the burning. We typically will use this in conjunction with antibiotics when the symptoms are a lot worse, so you can get a little bit of relief while you're waiting for that antibiotic to work. Now, it is something you can pick up over the counter, and I'll include a link in the notes below, okay, to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, a few cautions though regarding this medication. First, it does turn your urine a bright orange color. This in and of itself can be a little bit startling, but it also can interfere with the urine testing that your doctor may do in his office. Also, you really don't want to be taking up more than two or three days, as it can put you at risk for a condition where your red blood cells break down. We call it hemolysis. This can lead to some anemias, or also in, in like the acute setting, it actually can put a big load on your kidneys, and it has been associated with some reports of acute renal failure. So be careful and talk to your doctor about using it. Now, finally, it can also mask your symptoms, and that you should, you know, that you should be seeking care for. So be careful when you're taking it. So, since there isn't any great things to treat this at home, it's best to focus on prevention. Now, we've seen that changing personal hygiene habits can help prevent recurrent urinary tract infections. And here are some suggestions that may be helpful for you. First, try urinating before and after sexual activity. As well, stay well hydrated and urinate regularly. There was an interesting recent study done on this, and they took 140 women, all with problems with recurrent UTIs. They had them drink two to three liters of water a day. This is about one and a half liters more than they usually have been doing. And they found that by doing so, actually reduced the incidence of infection by about 50% compared to those who did not. So, drink more water. Now, take showers instead of baths. When you're potty training little girls, teach them the white, of course, front to back. So what about cranberry juice? Okay, this is one of the most common things that patients come in and talk about. They tell me they've been trying their cranberry juice and it hasn't worked. So what have studies shown about cranberry juice, pills, etc.? Well, here again, it's kind of been a mixed bag. The first thing we've learned though in the study is that it does not treat active infections. Okay? It is ineffective to do so. This part is clear. What's unclear, however, is how much it helps or doesn't in the prevention of urinary tract infections. The studies have shown some trend towards the ability to prevent them, but it certainly isn't concrete proof. So what do we make of it? Well, to stay strictly evidence-based, well, there isn't enough evidence to recommend. However, this is really due to, there's just a lack of proper studies. Okay, there is a trend in some of the studies that have been done that shows some benefit. As well, it's not felt to be harmful. So it's certainly worth a try for those who tend to get them more frequently. So there you have it. That's what you need to know about urinary tract infections. Take some time and check out the notes below for a summary of what we've discussed today. Also, tell us, what have been your experiences with UTIs? Is there anything that you've used in the past that helped treat them or even prevent them? So leave your comments and let us know in the notes below. Also, let me know what you think about the video as well as any other subjects that you may want covered. I'd love to hear from you. Also, check out some of the links below for some of the products that you can try at home that I recommend to my patients. So I hope that you found this helpful. Okay, if you do, please take, take time to like it, subscribe, and hit that notify button so you can be aware of when we release our new content. And please, please, please share it with your friends. Okay, lastly, remember, my purpose in sharing this information is for you to educate you in things that you can think about in trying to make decisions in your own health. In no way should this be taken as a direct medical advice to you in your own situation. So please, consult your own doctor for concerns regarding your specific situation. So until next time, this is Family Med with Dr. Eric Richardson. And remember, to please take care of your body, because it's the only one you have. Okay, so for those of you who stayed till the end, here's your promise bonus feature. How you can easily save money on your health care. People ask me all the time why things are so expensive and what they can do to avoid that. One thing I recommend all the time to my patients is to get tests done at an independent lab or imaging center. Your cost can oftentimes be as much as a third less expensive than a comparative study at a hospital. Feel free to ask your doctor to send you to one, or even shop around yourself before doing an expensive study. You can save a lot of money, and oftentimes you actually get better service. Okay, so that's your bonus tip for the day. Thanks for sticking around till the end. For more tips, make sure you subscribe and check out our other videos on the site. You'll be glad you did.